Would you like to come up for a moment? I know you're down there. Oh, come on up. You're very, very welcome. X marks the spot where we have a bit of light. You know, we spend a lot of time finding your light in our business. Anyway. Oh, I like that. Do that again. Uh, aye, that's right. LaDonna, you'll excuse me for ignoring him for a while. The, uh, <laughs> um, I thought this was just another hotel on a motorway, and it's not from the moment. This isn't a free plug, uh, but from the minute I arrived, I was charmed by your receptionist. I was delighted with the room, and I greatly enjoyed the bit of bar food that I have. So, well, well done, but that didn't happen by accident. Thank you very much, Derek, and thank you to everybody. No, it absolutely didn't, um, but, and I'll make sure that, that all the team hear your, your very kind comments. Um, we... it's, it's cheaper than tipping. <laughs> <laughs> we add tipping to your bill at the end of the day. Uh, no, thank you very much. Genuinely, that means an awful lot to us because, um, it, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a, this is a big evening for us and, and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to meet the, the business community, people we are doing business with currently and people that we hope will d would do business with us in the future. Um, so it's, it's been a coordinated effort by, by everybody in the hotel, headed by our general manager, Aegon Dunn, who you'll see floating around the hotel. Ah, there you are. Him. The fellow stuck his head round the corner. Ah, there you are. Every time you see the general manager, be sure and say, ah, there you are. <laughs> no, it's there you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, Egon. <laughs> uh, you'll also see... <laughs> <laughs> there you are. <laughs> and there's Raj beside him. He's our conference and banqueting manager. So. I saw him. He's like a sergeant major. He was drilling his staff just before the conference, before the, the food started here. I tell you, they, they were paying attention. Absolutely. And you didn't see him when he had the whip earlier on. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm, interesting. Um, uh, occupancy, I mean, uh, 59 euro a night is almost cheaper to live here than at home. <laughs> I have to clarify... <laughs> I have to clarify that and say it's from 59 euro. Oh, <laughs> a, a, the bed is extra. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. And the linen, and the linen, and then the door as well. Oh, uh, I, I no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, absolutely no. In, in the current economic climate, and I, I, I hate that phrase, but it is completely relevant, it, value is more important than ever, and certainly for a four-star hotel and the services that we provide, 59 euro per room, which is valid for up to three people in a room, if anybody would like to stay with us this evening. Is, is, is that connected at all with a boy with a whip? Is, is it, I'm getting a feel that maybe I got this wrong. Anyway, but Donna, listen... Congratulations. In just a few moments' time, we'll be hitting the main course, and that's where, the, that's where the principal judgments are going to be made. So thank you for all of this. My congratulations to your staff. And following your example, I suppose that the newspaper will be distributed free now. Absolutely, and we call it the Draw the People. Oh, very good, of course. Which is our free newspaper, so there you are. Well, you can't, I can't ask you to cut the price of that. No, but in fairness, if you do come around to the Draw the Independent, you'll be charmed by our receptionist, We'll give you a sandwich, and you might even buy an ad. Well, I have to tell you, does Alison Common work with you? She does indeed. Well, she's a most charming woman, and I have a date with her most Sunday mornings on 4FM. And she, she speaks most enthusiastically about your paper. Well, Alison's a brilliant reporter, and, uh, you know, she's part, of a, she's part of a great team. And in fairness, just thinking, I mean, there's a hell of a lot of people here that, that, that come from Drada, that have grown up in three and four generations... There'd be very few people in the room that wouldn't have some sort of familial collection, connection with the paper. You know, uh, whether the people worked in the printing works or, you know, this Des at our table worked as a compositor. He just told me tonight for, for a number of years in our place. So, you know, a lot of people have a lot of connection with this newspaper. And, and it's you're in business a long time. You're rooted deep in the community. But is it, is it tough now? Because advertising revenue, we know from the radio sales uh, and, and so on, advertising revenue, even big newspapers, yeah. big national papers yeah. are hurting. Uh, are, you, are you sore at the moment? Well, look, I mean, you would be, you would be a fool to say that your revenues aren't down, but you've got to be, you've got to be smart. And, and, and we took the conscious decision that we would, we would uh, really try and help out our business partners. So we, we came up with a complete new concept, which was, uh, I suppose, it's a bit like having an ulcer and, and, and uh, you know, eating little and often, advertise small but often. So we've gone from the big blockbuster ads to helping businesses just building a brand and claiming their own fair share of the market, you know, as, as we call it. So that's worked very, very well for us. But the, 
the Think Drogheda Shop Local has been great. I mean, we, we've never had a competition like it before. We get 600 entries a week. We got it 600 entries at the start. We still get 600 entries. It's been in conjunction with the Chamber. Uh, they've been fantastic as well. And I'm delighted tonight because I was watching the film and I finally found where Bernard English was in the ward maze, which in fairness <laughs> had taken me about two weeks. But it's, it's brilliant because everybody thinks that the only people that can do ward mazes are... Uh, well, Darren, I know that a lot of people here are very grateful to you and certainly the Chamber is. Thank you kindly and enjoy the rest of your night.